Good morning, third graders. I apologize for not being with you today and not having a substitute to help you out. Um, first, I'd like to say to all the kids that are self-pacing and doing their own work that you should continue doing what you've been working on. If you come to a question or a topic that you need help with, your first choice would be to try and figure it out using the hardcover book which your teachers have in your classrooms. Um, your second step would be if you if you are allowed you could ask a neighbor or a friend and your third choice would be to skip and wait for me to come back tomorrow. Uh, you could work ahead to the next lesson or if you get stop at the end of a chapter and you've done all the work and the review then you will just have to wait for the next day of class. Um, everybody could choose to do this chapter nine extension packet that I'm assigning to my red group. Um, so that is available to anybody who would like to use it. Your teacher should have a copy for you or possibly um, you already have a copy. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna go over chapter nine. Um, we will correct um, the work from last week actually nobody has any work to correct i take that back um oh yes actually you do <laughs> i'm sorry i'm so confused you are going to um correct the review and the thinking cap in class on tuesday and then we will take the test on wednesday for chapter nine so again i apologize for being confusing but you are going to work on the chapter nine extension packet if you are self-pacing you should turn the video off and get to work i expect everybody to be able to have completed one lesson so you're being efficient with your time and if you have extra time you should do moby max please work through the lessons section not the fluency board games today. Thank you. So if you need to continue listening, I'm going to go over the questions for chapter nine. You can go through each one, one at a time, pause the video every time I read it, and then move to the next one with the video, or you can listen to the whole video and do all your work. Chapter nine was on using bar models for multiplication and division problems. Here are the questions. Number one says the cost of five apples is $4. Five apples for four dollars. Mrs. Schuler has twenty-eight dollars. How many apples can she buy? Five apples for four dollars. We want to know how many apples she can buy. Number two. A number is divided by four. The result is the same as sixty-three divided by three. What is the number? Number three, a rental shop has 15 bicycles with some tricycles in the shop. The total number of wheels in the shop is 72. How many tricycles are there? Remember to use the drawings given to you. Number four, a pair of socks cost $12. During a sale, Peter will save $2 if he buys two pairs of socks in all. What is the cost of one pair of socks at the sale? Part two of that question says Peter buys six pairs of socks during the sale and one pair of socks after the sale. How much does he pay in all? Number five, a fruit seller has some peaches. He throws away eight, 15 rotten peaches. He packs the rest into equally into eight bags. There are six peaches in each bag. How many peaches did he have at first? Number six, Candace Carey and Nathan sold a total of 85 tickets to the school's production. Candace sold three times as many as Nathan. Carey sold four more tickets than half of what Nathan sold. How many tickets did Carey sell? Number seven, 72 is subtracted from three times a number. The result is three times the difference. 72 is subtracted from a number, three times a number. The result is three times the difference. What is the number? Number eight, Mr. Suresh is six times as, his, as old as his daughter is now. 
six times as old as his daughter is now. After 14 years, their total age will be 63. How old is Mr. Suresh now? Number nine, Tammy has 73 stickers. Cherie has 17 stickers. Tammy gives some stickers to Cherie. Now Tammy has twice as many stickers as Cherie. How many stickers did Tammy give to Cherie? Number 10, Pedro pays a total of $72 for some pens and rulers. He buys four more pens than rulers. A pen costs $1. A ruler costs three times as much as a pen. How many pens does Pedro buy? Number 11, solve using two methods. Two methods. So that wants two different methods. First use the bar model, then use they make a table or a list. Lily has and Mary have 48 beads in all. Lily gives 15 beads to Mary. Now they have the same number of beads. How many beads did each girl have at first? Using the words in the boxes, write a two-step word problem. Then solve the problem using bar models. So you can use extra words, but you have to use these words. Number 13 is the same, write a two-step word problem using the bar models, then solve the problem. Number 14, write a two-step word problem using the bar models, then solve the problem. And that is all. If you have any that are really confusing to you, you should skip those and move ahead to ones that you can complete. I do not expect you to have it all complete tomorrow. I do not expect you to take it home for homework, but I will check tomorrow to see what you have completed. I appreciate you being flexible and studious and on task, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.